well, we are on our way to begin a trek with the whole family into a small off-grid cabin and we were just getting hammered with freezing rain the whole way here and now we're in on this back road and literally it's a skating rink. We're just sliding down the hills. It's super scary. I have four wheel drive, winter tires, but uh, we're just going at a snail's pace here because it's not worth it. But uh, yeah, literally you could just skate along this road right now. Terrifying. I, mean, I guess it's kind of levels out here. I just hit it with a bit of speed. I'm slipping already. Don't do that. It's not funny. <laughs> I actually was looking at the road like, what the f***'s happening? <laughs> Sorry, babe. This is terrifying, though. We might be staying at the Joneses. I'm trying to keep up with them anyways. We're blowing it so far. Well, we just passed them, actually. Okay. Oh, this God. looks interesting. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Going way Slow too fast. down. <laughs> You're going way too fast. I'm literally going seven. You're going way too fast. Look at this water over there. We don't want to end up in there. There's a tight corner here at the bottom of a slight hill, and so we're. Jim's literally doing six kilometers an hour. Tori just told me to slow down when I was doing four kilometers an hour. This is how slow I'm going. Are my knuckles white? Uh, no, they look kind of dirty actually. I'm just kidding. They actually look a little red. It's probably just from the Cheetos. <laughs> Whew, we made it. Oh, God. Oh, are we there yet? North don't care. This is scary. I'm going to have to give this a little speed here, hon. Sorry. Okay, slow down. Okay, slow down. How's that? So we'll be there in like 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll get there when we get there, you know? I was thinking it would be two hours, but I'm like, no, that doesn't no, make any sense. No, it's only 3.2 kilometers, so. We'll get there when we get there, you know? It's best to get there in one piece. Boys drive. I think we turn left down here. So far, not bad, eh? Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to have too much speed and just plow sideways into a tree. Um, yeah, I agree. <sighs> Shuttle. This is our parking area. Yeah, left here. Look, there's a sign here. We'll pull over and we'll stop there. Hey bud, we're here. Hey bud, I might have to. Hey bud, we're gonna get some food and you and Dada's gonna pack up and then we're gonna get going, okay? Cool. Hey bud, hey, hey bud, how's it going? You're in the video. Can I throw this bread in your backpack? Yep. Throw anything in here you want. No rules. It's starting to rain again. Well, we are basically in the Halliburton Forest and uh, we are trying to find a backcountry cabin. Um, it's going to be about a three and a half K hike and it's freezing rain. Just getting in here was very, very sketchy and scary once we got off the main roads and there's no salt. The roads are like freaking skating rinks and so we're packing. It's supposed to drop down to, you know, minus 20 tomorrow but today it's minus two and it's raining. Everything's slick, so we had to you know, throw cleats on our boots. We're gonna walk along this road and pick up a snowmobile trail. Should be a pretty walk, but uh, the rain is supposed to pick up. So 
Um, yeah, basically gonna have to wear rain gear here in the winter and keep all my, my winter stuff dry and switch it over tomorrow um, and just keep my fingers crossed that, uh, uh, you know, I don't get too soaked through. Uh, we got both kids with us, Wesley and Hudson, um, but we have a, a chariot that they go in with skis on it and that's like totally waterproof and they'll be snugly warm. So not too worried, but man, freezing rain, not fun. So, you know, almost questionable even choosing to travel in this kind of weather, but at least it's not freezing cold. So we'll see how things go. Nor stole my glove. How do you feel, hon? Raining, like what are, what are the odds? But we canceled a winter camping trip last week because it was gonna be pouring rain. And then of course we booked this backcountry like off-grid cabin and you know, we don't wanna cancel. And here we are again in the pouring rain. <laughs> so um, at least we're getting to a nice warm sheltered place. We don't have to set up a, a tent and set up a stove yeah. and get firewood and all that. It's gonna be, heated and ready to go for when we get there so yeah there have been some crazy temperature fluctuations around uh where we live lately this is not just a freezing drizzle this is just freezing rain full rain gear on this is sketchy it's like minus two minus three and the rain's just freezing to me and i'm just hoping that we can you know we're gonna be okay we got all the stuff we need to make a fire or get warmed up and I think we probably have a tarp, maybe we don't though, eh? But anyways, we're, you know, we're gonna be able to make it in there, but hopefully before we're not soaked to the bone and freezing. So yeah, not the safest weather to be traveling in and hopefully the trail's good because trying to drag through like deep wet snow is gonna be a challenge because we have, we're packing for four people. North's gonna help pull, but we got a lot of gear because we're gonna be in here for about four days, so. Yeah, so far so good, but weather definitely not cooperating. Jim? Yeah? Teddy has a poo. Oh no. Uh, can you get uh, white? Teddy, you pooped at another good time, bud. We didn't schedule this one in, buddy. We didn't schedule, you're <laughs> off the schedule. Way off. Yeah, it's stinky and you don't want to sit in that all day. Okay, I have to go get wipes. Okay. Can you maybe get them or wash him? I can get them, I guess. All right, North, you got an important job to do today, buddy. Sit. All right. You got to help us as a family get to the cabin safe and sound. You have a very important job today. Okay, North? Sit. Sit. Paw. Good boy. How is it, hon? It's an explosion. Oh, no. Eddie, no wonder you were pissed. Eddie, you're off script, bud. Okay, Eddie's ready. What are we doing, Huddy? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. You having fun? Okay, let's jam a blankie down there for you. This is getting wet.
Okay, well, Tori's going to park uh, um, that way. Uh, so the parking lot's sort of off the trail. We're going to start from here. And the rain has not died down. It's actually picked up. So it is pretty miserable. And we're worried that uh, there's not even going to be much ice or snow on the road if it keeps up like this to tow. But uh, very interesting. Super glad I brought the rain gear, but my camera's getting soaked. First uh, winter sled pulling trip. Uh, we think he's a, a safe age to be pulling a fairly small load. And so far he's doing good, although he's a little annoying here and there. Left, right? Yeah, there's no right turn road to the intersection. Take the left. Before the red gate? Yeah, the parking area is located 100 feet before the red gate in the parking area. You will find a lot. Con continue straight onto the road and keep right. Because look. Well, look at the snowmobile tracks. Obviously, somebody was coming out of the cabin. But look, we're here. Right? Uh -huh. Duck Lake Road. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah, so uh, we, we've never been here before. We're just going to check out a really quaint and cool uh, backcountry cabin. So we want to make sure we don't walk too far in any direction we don't have to. We got to go up this huge hill here. Not looking forward to it. It's going to be exhausting. That was exhausting. Call north. We're on the uh, snowmobile trail now. Looks half decent. <laughs> Snow's pretty iced up. On the downhills, you run into some uh, some stuff happens. Come on, no, uh, leave it. Leave it. Come on. Leave it. North, leave it. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's, it's in his balls, honey. Can you help him? He'll learn to get untangled himself. The ice on everything. Uh. 
That's just full of water. I'm gonna check on the kids. I just wanna make sure they're not getting wet. Snug as a bug. Are they sleeping? They're sleeping. Oh, they're both sleeping? Yeah. I don't know if Wesley is. His eyes are seem closed. He keeps making little noises. Yeah, so you see this little chariot we have for them. It's basically just like a shelter on skis. So they're both just like sleeping in there. So that's really good. But the rain is really coming down now. It's pouring. And, and it's of course, it's like maybe minus two out and uh, it's hard. We have to work hard and rain gear doesn't exactly breathe terrifically well. So we're sweating a lot, but <coughs> we'll just keep putting one foot in front of the other and we'll get there. Might be uh, like a borderline look like drowned rats when we get there. Downhill is always a show though, eh? North, leave it! Leave it! Leave it! North, leave it! He's making us take forever. North, leave it! Good boy, go on! Go on! Uh, going downhill, although not as exhausting as going uphill, you have some real challenges too, and it can be dangerous because your toboggans catch up to you, they smack you in the back of the legs. We just uh, took North off of his uh, tether there, and uh, I managed to come up with kind of a good system where I sort of shored both of my sledges up beside each other and let them down slowly, but uh, yeah, looks like the trail should be flattened out. Rain has actually picked up and we have two kilometers left to go. But uh, morale is up, uh, it's beautiful. We're on a good trail, so there's no reason we shouldn't be able to get there and get into a nice, safe, warm cabin. Most importantly, the kids are still sleeping. Some real challenges coming down this icy slick hill with two toboggans. Do you need help? Do you want some help? Probably we'll figure it out. It's just gonna take me all day. <laughs> just, just waiting for Jim, so I thought I'd crack a cold one. He's struggling because um, he's struggling with the downhills because he's got two toboggans and they keep flipping. Oh God, I should be helping him, but I kind of went ahead. Must be really annoying. I feel bad that I wasn't there helping because if I were behind him, I could hold a rope and prevent it from whacking him in the ass. I should go help. Look at all the ice on everything, eh? Just ice. Well, hopefully this system works. Tori, what do you got? You're having a beer break? <laughs> I was like, well, well, maybe the gym, I have to crash the So, do you want to tie the third toboggan and then you walk in the back? How much more downhill is there? Not much. Oh, there's an uphill right there. Let's just do this for now. 
Okay. We'll get up to the chariot. Okay, yeah, so we come up with a system. Tori's, Tori's gonna hold, uh, thanks. Oh my God. I went down Tori's, real easy. Um, having a really good time. I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get my thumb in there. Oh, gross. Okay. But we really should hurry. Yeah, I mean, I'm going as fast as I know, I know. That's why I said I'll go behind you and then. Why, is it getting late or something? No, just I'm worried the kids, like Wesley's kind of. Oh, the kids are gonna start getting pissy. Run full speed. You, you need to, yeah. That's that one's all lopsided now. All the just fell Here. out. Wait, pull it back onto the trail. I think this was supposed to be on top. I'll hold this for a sec. Oh right, I need to. One kilometer left. What does that say, Tori? I can't read it from here. Big rock. That's our cabin. Oh, amazing. Oh my God, it's we so it. cute. We did it. That wasn't so bad. Eh? That wasn't so bad. It was a nice little adventure. It was. Thank God we brought booze. It, it was a good uh, opportunity to train north. Oh, look yeah. how beautiful it is Oh, look how here. close we are to the lake. Yeah. We did it. We did it. High five. Yeah, awesome. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Love you. Love you too. Okay. Take a look at this place. Cool. Oh, it's pretty big actually, eh? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, it's got a Barbie going here. Look, there's a breast, a snowman with breasts over there. That's really mature. Where? Right there. That's the last ah. people built. No alcohol is involved in that. It is pouring. Let's see you. what we have here. Cool. Oh, I love it. Is there light there? Look at this. Wow, what more do you need? Look how great it is in here. This is so cool. In the summer, I guess this just opens right up and you have like a bar. This is yeah. It inside, outside. How nice is that? It's beautiful. Look at this. There's even a sh in here. I know. That's in the Yukon, we didn't have that. There's even a shower in here, but not wow. in the winter. Oh, wow, okay. You're getting all your snow everywhere. Okay, sorry, honey, I'm just, just trying my best. Hey guys, did you have a fun ride? Hey, did you have a fun ride out? He looked fun to He had a fun ride, huh? Yes, he did. That's a long one. Come on, bud. We'll get you next. Hey, honey, look. We're at the cabin. We're at the cabin. Yes, we are.
Honey just looks extremely content. Hi, bud. <laughs> He's just like, where? He looks quite Am content. I? I'll yeah. go get Leslie. He's probably pretty hungry. Too. You awake? You're kind of awake, huh? Look, we're at the cabin, bud. We're at the cabin. Hey? We're at the cabin, look. Look, the cabin. It's soaked in here. I bet. Look at how much water's on our clothes. Man, I've never had to just break out full rain gear for a winter truck before. I gotta say this is a first, but we made it. Hey, Hedy. Hey. Hey, chillins. Hey guys! Hey bud! I'm gonna go have a look out to the lake here. This uh, cabin is right on uh, a lake and all the, it's a small lake and there's maybe one other tiny cabin like this basically a tiny home on this lake so it's uh pretty secluded there might be trout in it brook trout beautiful Not a nice day, but wow, really rugged Canadian shield, beautiful hills, dense hemlocks, and, and uh, some white pines around here. Beautiful, beautiful forest, awesome. That's a propane heater there. Honey, you get discombobulated a lot. Martha, you're freezing your little tush off? Oh, at least all the food stayed cold. And then we got some smoked trout. Bacon. Women's money. Back it was like a big cycle. It goes back and forth. He loves cords and ropes. That's the For dinner tonight, honey. Dinner tonight is uh, chili mac and cheese, so we're just uh, cooking on uh, whatever shell noodles. We didn't have any macaroni. It's all got soaked in our truck out here, which 
wouldn't be shocking, but we wish we uh, had taken the greater lengths to waterproof stuff. This is the lazy man's mac and cheese. In my case, the lazy woman's mac and cheese. How are you, babe? Yeah, How's nice the Heidi? How's uh, uh, nice uh, the Heidi? The Heidi. North, you did good today, bud. You did good. Right, you're gonna be poopy and gassy because this is chili with beans. Nice. Classic Stags chili. Yeah, this will be a good, this will be good. I'm gonna pour it right in there. Do you ever? Ooh, I love chili. Stags chili is good. That's good. Ready to eat? Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. This looks really good. Good for you. Mm. And there's some leftovers. Awesome, yum. Shall we? You want to take the first bite? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good mac and cheese for the W. This is awesome. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm glad that was super easy. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty good.